Looking good. Good evening, folks. Triple T Cat here. By folks, I mean absolutely nobody just yet. But that's all right. I'm going to be continuing my journey into the evil within that I begun on the stream last night, and I'm going to be getting into game, um, right now. I got, uh, I failed to, I failed to refill my beverage. I'll be right back. Alrighty, I think, uh, I think tonight, instead of playing in complete darkness, I'm going to play with a little bit of light. Not because it was 3 spooky 17 me, but just because uh, it'll make the webcam a little bit easier to see. Anyway, uh, let's go ahead and get into game. I mean, there's no sense delaying. I am going to adjust the positioning of my webcam a little bit, I think. I didn't really like... Uh, you know... Like, it was, it was just not quite where it should have been, was the problem. Um, like, uh, the, the little black bar for the, well, I mean, for one thing, it's not quite in the corner, and the little black bar for where it's cutting off the top of my monitor did not actually quite line up, right? I that was that. So I'm gonna fix that up. So that everything is nice and happy and lovely and wonderful and good and great and better. Uh, okay, good. It does show up on this thing. So, scale me viewport up to... Uh, let's bring this over on my other monitor. It's a bit easier to see. Okay, so... Oh, my face is being crushed. Okay. I think that's just about perfect. I'm going with that. Okay, I'm going to reduce the brightness in my second monitor as well. This was a little bit too bright last time. And then, uh, I want the next. Okay, I got it. Uh, brightness down. Yeah, there we go. That's looking better. Um, back, back. All right, cool. That's all set. Let us get into it. 
Hello folks out there on YouTube land and welcome to part, uh, I have no idea. Welcome to the next part of my Evil Within playthrough. I am of course your host Trouble D Cat. This is uh, recorded from a live stream. And uh, I've decided to play with a dim light on instead of it being completely pitch black in my room just so you can see the webcam a little bit better. We got mood lighting now. Anyway, without further ado. Uh, I believe I got really, really mad and rage quit. I mean, I wasn't actually that mad, but... Uh, this is not where I remember being. This is actually distinctly not what I remember where I think I was. Oh, hey, this is the way to go. I, like, I remember the lady with the hair popped up out of the ground and wrecked my shit, and then I was mad. But I don't seem to recall this hallway of horrors. I think the game what is it with you? No, game, let me face the way I need to run. Uh, the game seems to have teleported me forward when I died. Which is an interesting, uh, interesting move. But hey, here we are, back again at this elevator. Um, which you may recall, we were in once before, when we saw the spooky dude bro. Oh, the chainsaw back near the beginning of the game. That's, that's kind of weird, I'm gonna have to rewatch the last part to check that out, but I... Ah, oh, fuck! I should have burned the carcass! I didn't realize it could do that. I had a match, but I didn't think that, that would happen. Oh, that's not ideal. Yeah, let me run. Okay, let's try not to get spiked. Let's try not to get spiked right in the ass. Oh, I just made it. I made it. I can't believe it. I can. Hopefully this is the crossbow of which I've been... Nope. More shotgun shells. Now that one would be pretty hard to miss. I'm assuming once again that that's the thing where it would be the shotgun instead of the one shotgun shell. If I didn't already have the shotgun, and that's the f like that position, it'd be pretty hard to miss it in. If you didn't pick it up at that point, I think you really only have John David to blame. Sorry, you guys. You guys probably aren't even familiar with John David. Thank God. Oh, hey, hey, Rubik. Uh, what's up? I'm feeling like I don't want you touching me. I'm feeling like if he gets to me, I'm going to be dead. So I'm going back up here. He's gone. That's good. Well, shit. Oh man, that was weird. I like to save room. I like save rooms. How did I even get here from the other place? I can't remember. I was pretty wasted last time when I finished streaming. You'll notice tonight, conspicuously absent is any kind of alcohol. But hey, there's the end of chapter four. I'm pretty pro, I guess. Uh, so we want to overwrite our latest save now. And next time, we will make a new save. Well, let's continue our journey into the darkness. Seems someone wants me hospitalized. He is watching. We can't leave. The place I fell from is just, you know, the ceiling now. As you would expect, really. Alright, another another place to maybe There's the crossbow. Agony crossbow. This collapsible crossbow has a strong bowstring which appears to be capable of launching heavy projectiles. Well that's that's good. Uh I'll be taking that. So 
I do have some ammo. RB, create bolt while the agony is selected. Trap parts can be used to make more of any agony bolt you possess. Okay, so I've got explosive, flash, and harpoon. Uh, and I can craft... I can only carry two of these. Okay. Oh, wait, no, but if I load... If I load it, then I won't be at the max. Uh, so... Well, actually, no. Can I now? So, can I now? Alright, I can now make a harpoon bolt. Is, is it gonna disappear if I change my bolt type to, say, flash? I'm just trying to figure out, you know, exactly how this whole thing's gonna work. No, so I can actually overstock my ammo. Might as well do that, considering I have so many trap parts. Uh, we're gonna leave this on the harpoon bolt because you know if we switch to it as a panic weapon we want to know we're gonna get the uh... oh I can switch quickly so green is flash white is harpoon and red is explosive alright I can remember that let's pick up our diary journal of Sebastian Castellanos uh... Castellanos? yeah that's right March 2005 the bad news is that I've been reassigned to a fuck this light the bad news is that I've been reassigned to a new partner. The good news is that Mira said yes. But even the bad news isn't so bad. Joseph is a great detective, and we're a good team. Crimson City needs more men like him on the force, and it's an honor to be working with him. But sometimes it feels like bailing out a boat with a giant hole in the bottom. For every crime we solve, it seems that ten others are committed. The KCPD is a thin blue line protecting the populace from the criminals. But sometimes, it seems like there's more of the latter than the former. Okay. Yes, let us fly through the mirror and go to our happy saving place. Necessary for me, my ass. I wonder if there's anything different about our cell that we uh, initially... Oh, well, the door to it's closed. That's different. But I can still go in here. I wonder if there's, like, a new newspaper or anything. No. Seems like it's just the same old cell. I can't even hide under the bed in here. Unlike most beds on the planet, my bed has some kind of anti-hiding shield attached to it there. Well, I mean, you would imagine, right? I mean, that, that makes sense for, like, a mental hospital. Your last visit. Hey, girl, what's up? Hey, you got all the blood off your dress. That's nice. Uh, although, you know, the blood was an alright look, too. Investigation stalls in serial killer case. Community cautiously optimistic. Setting lack of new leads, police suspect serial killer may have gone into hiding or moved on. Well, you know, that'd be nice for the people who don't want to be killed by the serial killer. Which I suspect is the majority of the people. Uh, I mean, I'm not going to knock being killed by a serial killer. I personally, you know, I've never, I've never actually been murdered myself. So, you know, and I think that since I haven't tried it, I, you know, I'm sure some people are into it. Anyway, let's go ahead and open the thing up because I'm pretty sure we have a key. Yeah. Let's get some bonus uh, syringe. Nice, nice. Ooh, two syringes. Even nicer. Double the syringing power. In fact, uh, no, I'm not going to use one of these right now because uh, some of the upgrades refill your health. And I'm going to go to the brain upgrade station in a minute. After I'm done looking around in here just to see if anything's different because I don't, I don't know, you know, I don't want to miss vital story clues. Looks like everything's fine. Let us proceed on our journey to the brain juice installing machine. I might have to go and get some brain juice of my own later. Depends on, you know, how badly this game makes me want to drink. Which, so far, you know, it's, it's a pretty good game. Now, to inject my skull. Let's see here. We can't fill that up. 
Can't upgrade that. We could upgrade our melee damage again, but I'm still thinking that's kind of a little bit pointless. I'm happy with the current syringe recovery. Uh, I'm not going to get any upgrades for that, or this, or this. Ah, uh, you know, uh, maybe I should get, um, like, accuracy and critical for the handgun, because... I've been a little bit disappointed with the handgun's performance at doing what I wanted to do, which is just be like a headshot cannon where I blow people's heads apart, but it's not quite working out for me how I could have hoped. Sir, I could upgrade the count of the bolts I can carry. Nah. Eh. Damage for explosive bolts and harpoon bolts and the duration of blindness on the flash bolts can all be... Now, I'm going to... I'm gonna upgrade my revolver. We're gonna we're gonna upgrade our accuracy a little bit here. We're gonna upgrade our critical chance from fucking nothing to you know a chance. Um. Yeah, let's get another accuracy upgrade on the revolver. I'm feeling like the revolver. Hello, Lars. Welcome back. Nice to see you again. <laughs> from uh. My the the sole person who was speaking to me in chat last night, and uh, hopefully my revolver will be a bit better of a headshot cannon now. Hopefully, like more than two people will show up on the stream today. Although I wouldn't count on it. <laughs> we will uh, we will see. Anyway, let's get back to the murder. I do like murder. <laughs> Okay, so the crossbow and the shotgun don't both show up at once. Uh, I guess I guess I'm stashing my shotgun in my pockets. I, I don't know. Let's let's assign these things some hotkeys and just keep them there. I could put the syringe on a hotkey, but I, like I was accidentally using them before. I don't want to do that. Um, but considering my current HP, I think if I use one more right now, I'll actually waste a little bit of syringe power. Like just a just like a couple HP worth of syringe power will get wasted, and I'm not I'm not gonna do that. It's all good, Lars. I will continue in the darkness. Hey, this door is weeping. Let's uh. What's up, door? You know, you feeling you feeling a little sad? Oh. Oh. Not dealing with that today. Lighting's pretty nice. Wrong button. I want this button. Maybe this is where the game's gonna start getting spooky, like the music's a little bit spookier, we got this. That's concerning. <laughs> you thought you'd get me. You were wrong. Prepare to get totally stabbed in the back of the head. That's not a good sound. Oh, he's gone. I can still hear that asshole breathing. I guess he went into one of the other rooms. That door, I'm not getting that open. I'm not 100% clear on how I got back to this horrible asylum place. Like, I was out in that woods zone. And now I'm back here. <laughs> Not sure where that's coming from. <clears throat> well, we should explore all the rooms. We found some ammo on the last one. Nothing bad happened to us, so. Hey! Whoa! You know, I was gonna fucking stab him, and then he turned out to just be a figment of my mind. Damn it. Well, at least we got uh, some matches, so I can burn co Oh, brain juice. Brain juice is easily my favorite thing to find. 
Because when I go back to the other version of the hospital where I'm safe, not this version, I guess maybe it's a different mental hospital? I don't know, but the point is, is I can inject the brain juice directly into my skull and get stronger. Much like in real life. Let's just keep exploring all these rooms. I mean, it's going pretty... Oh, wait. There's a guy down the end there. I can just barely see him. I guess he just walked really fucking fast after he went past the door before. Animation kind of... <laughs> kind of glitched out there, but that's okay. This room. I wonder what that was. It's broken. On the floor. This room's kind of a wash. Nothing good in here. Did I miss a door? I don't think I did. God. No, no, good. I haven't missed anything yet. Let's just keep stealthing, you know? Oh, wait, maybe there's not a guy down there. I don't know. There's definitely an enemy around here somewhere. I can still hear him breathing. Yeah, okay, no, that's a guy down there. I'm just gonna ignore that for now, though. Okay, this the door on this one's already open, so clearly after I go in here, it's gonna close behind me. What the hell? Oh, broken shit on the ground. I guess it makes noise when I step on it. I'm actually shocked that door didn't close behind me. I was really, really expecting that. What kind of spooky game is this when it doesn't, you know, the most obvious thing every time? Um. Alright, well. That enemy's gone. Hey! Oh shit, he's not gone, he's just invisible. Fuck. I know you're here somewhere, asshole! Yeah! Yeah, you thought you'd get me! I know. I know. Man, these guys aren't even, like, the kind of invisible where they're, like, you know, a little bit of a distortion in the air or anything. Ah, he's there! <laughs> Running into him! They're just fully fucking invisible, like, I can't see shit. Alright, it's okay, if I hide behind this thing, then I'll have to push it out of the way to kill me. Oh wait, there is, there's a little bit of something you can kind of see when they get really close. bumped into him again. He's right there somewhere. We got one bullet left. I don't want to waste it. Oh, come on. Alright. Fuck! Thought I saw his little bastard and fucking... Yeah, I don't think I have any ammo for the shotgun, though. That would have been better. Burn the carcass. I'm not dealing with that shit. Man, those guys are nasty. He took a he took some chunks out of me. Oh, I had one shotgun shell. Yeah, I mean the shotgun would probably be better to deal with those invisible guys. I'm just just worried, you know. About wasting. Oh, the crossbow does have dip. Also, I like how when you equip the crossbow, the crossbow itself fills half your screen, so you can't even see. Anyway, I'm out of bullets now, so that was not really a great way for that fight to go, I guess. I, I don't know, those invisible guys seem like they're pretty tough. Maybe, uh, maybe they're just always going to take that many bullets, you know? Maybe it's okay. I guess I could run away. That probably would have been smarter, but, you know, this game's been so rich in enemies so far that I'm kind of worried that if I had run away, I would have just run into, you know, a bunch more enemies and... Then I would have had to fight an invisible guy and a bunch of little assholes simultaneously. Yeah. Oh, hey, it's the it's the Black Lodge. By that I mean this is an execute. I'm just gonna leave this creepy execution chamber. Yeah. Yeah. You you close behind me, door. Spooky painting. Bathroom completely filled with blood. 
Ah, uh, see. See, if I'd been fighting the invisible man in here, I would have been able to see his, him walking through the blood. That was one of the loading screen hints, is invisible. You can see invisible enemies when they walk through pools. But, uh... But, of course, I didn't know this room was going to be full of blood until I came in here. It seems like now they're really starting to try and layer on the Looks actual like I spooky. Have to get down. <laughs> Get down to that! No, um... Neil, <laughs> getting down! Sebastian doesn't really have very good dance moves. Neither do I, though, so, you know, that's alright. Anyway, yeah, after starting the game in kind of a really combat-heavy manner, it seems like now they're kind of trying to bring the scares. Or at least the hypertension. You guys hear what sounds like the fuck is that? Did you guys see some weird jacked up shit going across the bottom of this? <laughs> it's a rat with one of those little statues. Come here, you little bastard. You scared the crap out of me, man. Yeah, as far as I know, rats don't come back as zombies, so I'm gonna leave his corpse alone. I have to break this? I can't I can't open this cabinet to actually break it to get the sweet sweet matches within. That makes sense. The music is telling me I've come to a really bad place. What time is it? Not time to end the part just yet. Is the answer for those of you watching on YouTube. Although I suppose you could also be watching the live stream recording on YouTube because I decided for this playthrough I'm going to upload the unedited complete live streams just directly from Twitch and then I'll upload the YouTube parts later. Uh, the downside of course being that you know you end up with these videos that are two hours long and pretty well they're the same quality as the live stream which is not as good quality as the actual YouTube video. You well, I'm glad I got that crit upgrade for my, uh... His head exploded, right? Like, he's gone for... Ah, uh, you know what? I'm not gonna risk it. I don't want those invisible guys coming back to haunt me. Yeah, that revolver upgrade paying off almost immediately. That was... that was good. I feel like there were some places back in the other area that I could have explored, but I didn't explore, so... Get out get out of my way, IV bag. I want to check for the shell. Oh, shells. Um... I want to go back and explore. Because I feel like this might be the way forward, and I might have, uh, not fully explored this last area. Always remember, in oh, maybe that's more the way forward looking kind of way. Unless this is just fully fucking locked and I need a key card. Hmm. Locked. Need to find a key card. Of course. Let me guess. I need to find three different stone keys that foot fit together in a formation to make the key card. And then, then, I'll be playing Resident Evil. As long as I don't have to do any weird fucking statue puzzle thing, that, that would be nice. I mean, I wouldn't mind some puzzles in this game. I do like puzzles being a part of survival horror games, but, uh... You know, sometimes the puzzles can be really, really badly designed, and that's obviously not good. Yeah, okay, I... I stop. Ah! <laughs> Alright, come at me, bro. Oh, I can't shoot through that? Fuck, that was my last... Ah oh, man, I messed up so bad. Well, that seems to be pretty effective. And the corpses mount. Damn right, can I get my crossbow bolt back? Pinned him right to the wheelchair, but no, I can't take it back. 
Yeah, as long as... <sighs> fucking water temple, man. Talked about that last night. Water levels every time. No more ammo for anything aside from my crossbow. At least the crossbow seems to be like a one-hit kill kind of situation. I mean, that guy got wrecked really bad. Let's see what's on the TV. Static, huh? This is my favorite channel. Let's move on, shall we? I might as well just leave my uh, my torch on, huh? Like, I've been playing a lot of Alien Isolation, and in that, you pretty much don't use your flashlight, because when you use your flashlight, you fucking die, but in this, it seems like... It doesn't really matter. I mean, these invisible guys keep just, you know, being completely able to see me anyway from where they... You know, I... I mean, you can't exactly hide from an invisible guy anyway. I mean, I... You know, you can't... You can't see them from a distance to know that you need to hide... So for now, I may as well, you know, enjoy the added... But, you know, the thing is, is it it doesn't even make me more comfortable having the lantern on. Like, this sort of sharp lighting, I don't know, it's, it makes it more spooky somehow. Can I, can I burn this corpse before I pick up the keycard? This guy attacking me after I pick up the keycard, confirmed. Can't even burn the body. He's clearly gonna fucking attack. This game keeps subverting my expectations. I mean, he might still attack, but it wasn't as immediate as I expected. Anyway, we cleared this area out, right? I mean, there shouldn't be any enemies unless, you know, more guys could have spawned in. It's not like... It's not like this is the kind of game where you would expect to clear an area out and... No! Not like this! You know what? Fuck you. Fuck you! Uh, no. I wanted to fire the crossbow. Oh, shit. Where's the... Where's the something I can put between me and him so that I know where he is? Fuck! Uh, you know what? Fuck this. Yeah, bash on that door all you want. I'm getting the fuck out of here. Now we are playing like it's actually a survive. I see you over there, asshole. All right, good. The invisible guy can't follow me. I guess running past was a was a smart move that time. I mean, that's, it typically is in survival horror games, a good idea to run past enemies when you can. Oh, another good thing is we did confirm that the game has some kind of checkpointing system for, like, I don't, I, when I want to stop playing, I don't need to play until I find a save room, because, like, uh, after I rage quit last time, it still, it picked me up, uh, I think before where I was when I died and then rage quit actually, which is kind of weird, but whatever. I don't mind games with like a, a safe checkpoint kind of thing. Uh, it's nice to be able to stop playing whenever you want and not be forced to keep playing in the next checkpoint, you know. You know... What a spooky hallway. I'm going for revolver bullets. Three rounds. Hopefully with my crit upgrade and my accuracy upgrades, that'll actually let me kill something. If I need to kill. Uh, it's getting super blurry as I open the door. This whole room is just super blurry. The door is gone now. I have come into a spooky place. What the fuck am I seeing? Well, the door is back. There's holes on every wall. I'm gonna. I'm just gonna go. I can hear you breathing in there, asshole. I know you're not dead for real. Beer guy was from the drugs, yeah, maybe. 
Assimilation of subject's consciousness. Initial symptoms. Sharp pain and brainstem at centered on insertion point. Followed by gradual onset of hemorrhaging as capillaries dilate. Over time, degradation of the ego generates strong suicidal tendencies. They lose who they are and become clay, completely reshapable in my image. But not me. Something keeps me from staying completely within. Okay. Should I look under the sheet? I'm debating just fucking, you know, walking out of this room without, you know, opening the body bag, which... I mean, the game clearly wants me to do, but I feel like it's just gonna get... Ah, fuck it. Oh, what the hell is this? Two buttons. One's like one kind of Ebola, and the other's like the other kind of Ebola. Do we want to give the guy tail-based Ebola, or purely circular Ebola? He's lying on a bunch of spikes. I'm trying to I'm trying to look around the room to figure out oh here we go. So this thing, that's one of the buttons looks like that. Neuron, so that's a neuron. Brain de brain device. It's straight up just called the brain device. That's interesting. Uh what's this anatomical drawing? I don't care about that. I want to look for something with the other symbol on it so that I have some idea of what these buttons are going to do. Nothing in the audio recording was helpful to that end. Looks like the machine isn't even connected properly. Oh, uh, you know, I observed that there are all these little holes on the floor. Maybe if I press the wrong button, spikes are going to shoot up my butt and kill me. It does kind of sound like he's masturbating in there. I'm going to see if we can shoot spikes up his butt and kill him. I'm going to... I mean, we only found one picture. So I'm going to press the one that looks like the thing that we saw. Well. Well, he's, uh... That's a lot of blood. I think that man might be dead. His blood seems to be telling me I should try and go this way, but I can't. Okay. I guess there's gonna be puzzles on each of these things. What do we see through here? Another kind of spooky room. I like this game. This is good. Alright, it's another case where I have a couple of buttons to pick from. Yeah, there's shit on the floor again. I don't even know. If that means that I die if I pick the wrong thing. Is there another audio log or anything like that in here? Alright, here we go. Underground facility note. He lies, and to his own son, his own flesh and blood. It's outrageous. Gone to a better place, that hypocrite, that sanctimonious fool. I know the truth. I know him better than he knows himself. He's trying to punish me again. He always resented our closeness, thinks he can use it against me. Does he take me for a fool? Laura is not dead. Sorry, I choose to read all caps as being, like, way more death metal than, than the other letters. Uh, so... This, we got more pictures of brains. I don't know what the deal is with these eye symbol things. Like, it's like a cross, but then also an eye. I'm guessing this, this circular thing with the three gears looks like it's probably gonna be... Wow, what kind of fucked up machine is that? That dude's getting jacked up. Oh, hey, this is also some kind of horrible murder device. Attached to a clock.
man, it'd be fun to be an artist on one of these games, you know, the... The director comes in and just says, like, we need some fully fucked up shit to put on some walls. Like, weird ass torture devices and shit. What do you got? Well, the one with three gears is what I saw on the wall. I'm wondering what happens if I push the other button. I'm, I'm gonna assume it's just gonna, like, kill me, and I don't really want that. I'm not gonna lie, I don't feel too good about, you know, committing these murders either, but... At least I'm not dead. Last one, baby. These are some spooky rooms. So this guy, he's got like his heart in one hand and his mind in the other. And there's like balance. I guess it's it's like a philosophical kind of thing. And that recalls the all-seeing eye. And then just more sort of violent images. This is animal murder. And uh, this dude here is, I guess, a uh, centaur. Centaurs, renowned for their ability to rape. Well, what are our two options here? Uh, we got two kinds of flower. So, what does the flower on the wall look like? It's. And look, like, this guy's totally checking out the flower. He's like, this flower's fucking great. It's probably... It's probably gonna be the round flower, then. It's the weird eye thing on the door. What time is it now? This is going to be a good time to end the uh, YouTube part, so I'm going to end the part for YouTube now, and then I'll be right back. Oh, hey, uh, hey, Odin. Nice to see you there. I'm just playing the evil within, you know. Getting, getting spookied. Um, I think I'm gonna go grab a beer because this water is just not. I mean, it's hydrating me, but it's not like beer. <clears throat> so I'll be right back. Do 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 Tonight's stream brought to you in part by a really delicious New Zealand beer. This is Moa, uh, Southern Alps White IPA, and these are really really nice. Just just thought I'd uh, plug my beverage. Oh, I need a pour.
<laughs> and then we will get back into the game. Do, 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 do. It's really nice color. Anyway. You don't care about that. Let us resume our journey through darkness. Oh yeah. Let us resume our journey through intense darkness. Should I make my webcam a bit brighter? Uh, cause I can do that. If I... Hey, that's probably... That's probably gonna be a little bit better, huh? It's hard for me to tell in the little preview I got. Yeah, that's probably going to be better. Alright, let's get back to it. Hello, folks out there in YouTube land, and welcome to part the next of my Evil Within playthrough. I am live streaming this as I play. I'm back, of course, from a short break on the live stream. I've gotten myself some refreshments in the form of beer, and uh, I'm ready to continue. Collecting as much brain juice as I can. Liking the game a lot so far, uh, despite, you know, the issues. Hey, cuts. Joseph! But you're not a zombie ghost, are you? You brought me here? Jesus. What happened? My head feels like... Like... Do you hear that? We need to get out of here. They had him attached Move. to some kind of weird yeah, I... sack? Oh, Joseph! He was in like a milky kind of thing. Like it didn't look like he was in water. Hold A to heal my partner. That's much better. The stream kind of froze for me one sec. Oh dear. Hopefully, hopefully the stream is behaving. It looks like I haven't dropped any frames, so I think everything's fine on my end. Anyway, let's proceed. So I guess I have a partner now, and I, I can heal him, which is is good. Uh, I really don't want to think too hard about what the fuck he was just hooked up to. Let's just continue our journey. Let's check out. Oh, that's where we came from. We don't want to go back that way. This place we're in is weird. Let's it, get out of here fast. Clearly it doesn't follow the normal rules of, you know, space. Oh man, he's got a semi-automatic? Oh, damn, I want a Colt 45. That's what he's, he's, he's rocking. I want his weapon, not this little revolver. Pea shooter. This thing barely even kills zombies really hard. I mean, it does the job okay of killing Zambos. Let's turn off our light here. Yeah, it's a little bit too late. Oh, that's those bullets gone. Well, that's that bullet gone. Shell. Oh, sick! I can get multiple dudes with one with that. Uh, okay. Let's try our flashbangs. Oh, sick! Let's hurry. Ah, too slow! Ah, brutality! The murder has certainly intensified. Ah, not too late. 
Ugh, beat the shit out of you. <laughs> can't can't tell the difference between 30 and 60 frames, Odin. I'm sorry, man. I'm I'm sorry for your for your mind. It's okay though. I still love you. My live stream's always at 30 frames anyway, so I mean, really, the the viewer experience is not harmed by this game being at a being at 30 FPS. Because the viewer experience was always going to be at 30 FPS. I want to pick up the shotgun shells. No, I want to pick up the shotgun shells, not open the door. I would like to pick up... I don't want to use a match to set the thing on fire. I would like to pick up the shotgun shells, please. Oh, fuck it, fine. Fine! Can I pick up the shotgun shells? Still no. Well, that's great. That's 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 great. That's just great. What is in? The, oh oh now now there we go. There we go. All right. Now what is in here? I feel like the other way is going to be the way I'm going to ultimately need to go. So we should search this room for loot. This just appears to be a load of lockers. Well. If at least one of these doesn't contain something spooky, I'm going to be really disappointed. You know, there should be like a corpse, like a mangled corpse or something in one of these, or like like an enemy actually leaps out and attacks. Something like, something spooky's got to happen. Otherwise, this room's really lame. You know, it's just opening lockers, the room. Yep. Obviously, right? Okay. I mean, I can't exactly be mad. Like, as I said, it would be kind of lame if nothing spooky happened. At the same time, I mean, it's so predictable. We should have found, like, a better way to, like, something unexpected spooky should have happened. Not like just there's a body in a locker. Like, how about... Um... I mean, what else could you do, you know? Like, maybe when you open the locker, um... Uh Okay, what if there's like what if there's like a dwarf inside and he punches you in the dick? It wouldn't really be that scary, but I, I think it would be surprising at least. Like I don't think people would expect that. Man, I should work on horror games. Is my bro dude still following me? Hey bro dude. Come on, bro dude. I think your name's Joseph or whatever. Let's let's go, man. This is no time to fuck around. There's Zambos about. Quite a lot of Zambos, you may have noticed. Zombobulons. Zombie demon ghosts, if you will. Huh. That's uh that's quite clever placement, actually. Didn't see you there at first. Don't mind me. I'm just gonna, just gonna get these bullets here. Oh hey, cross bubble. Nice, nice. Anything else in these lockers that I might want? Doesn't look like it. Man, you got you got killed pretty fucking hard there, buddy. You got like nails straight into your eyeball. That's not. That must have felt pretty bad. Uh, no, I didn't finish it. I put up about, uh, I put up the stream from last night. This, the thing I put up on YouTube was last night's stream. And then I'll put this up tomorrow. And then when I finish the game, I'll start uploading the higher quality, uh, you know, parts. I should have burned that guy when I had the chance. I should have not missed. That was actually like a really tragic miss, too. That was just terrible. Yeah, can you just kill him for me, man? I don't really want to waste my ammo here. Can you just do it for me? Can you can you just do it for me, friend? He's not doing it for me, guys.
Really wish you would have killed faster there, teammate. I got jacked up. No, I'm not I'm not doing great actually because you took so long to kill. Gonna have to use a syringe. Don't worry, I'll just take drugs. Shit! I should have let myself regenerate before I took the syringe. Wasn't thinking clearly. Could have used my resources much more efficiently. Also, I I, th I should just start burning all the corpses, I guess. Like, I'm trying not to waste my matches because, I mean, it's a survival horror game, right? You don't want to waste resources. It's kind of a key aspect of the genre is managing your resources. But I'm starting to think, you know, maybe... I, I thought he was, like, tied up, right? So even if he, you know, became a living corpse, there wouldn't be shit he could do because he'd be like, oh, I'm mad. I'm stuck up here now. How annoying for me. But then he was actually just totally able to free himself and kill me. Well, not actually kill me, but he tried. Um, That's kind of a spooky looking door. I wonder if I'm going to die really hard if I try and open it. So it's got three keypads. This looks pretty sophisticated. And it's wired Why with explosives. Bomb like this? Do you think we can get past it? Stand back. Let me see if I can disarm it. I'm gonna stand really far back. You just wait. Why does my butt lamp? My butt lamp casts the opposite shadow to the shadow it should cast. My butt lamp casts the shadow as if it was on the front of my leg. Oh shit, he actually disarmed it. Anyway, I'm just going to ignore the fucking terrible butt lamp physics. Ah, what is it with the sound? I thought it was something electronic. God damn it, Joseph, I thought we were friends. I guess I have no friends in this place. Only people I haven't killed yet. Oh wait, he looks okay now. Joseph, after Connolly, I thought... I don't know what came over me. I haven't been feeling well, but... Uh, yeah, apparently not. Look, let's just get out of here. There's something wrong with this place. No shit. Yeah. How did I even get here from the wooded forest area? I completely don't remember. Like, I was in the forest area that was the old Leslie. I, I was trying to find Leslie, and we were in, like, his old... We went down to the basement. I remember we went down to the basement, and there was the invisible monster orb. Like, we found Leslie, and then... What happened? Somehow I ended up here. This place is just getting like... Is it actually daytime outside? That's fucked up if it's actually daytime. Sure, what I just picked up. Uh, we need to move. Uh, I think it might have been another explosive bolt. I'm not really sure. Well, let's go back to the hospital and save off. What a peaceful room. What, being confused part of the user experience, or is there like massive lag on the stream and you're talking about something completely different? I think being confused is definitely part of the user experience they're it. trying to create. I don't have a problem with that though. Have you forgotten something? I've forgotten what the fuck is happening in this honky ass place.
Mental patients claim abuse. Abuse only tip of the iceberg. Patients at Beacon Mental Hospital claim they are being used in behavioral engineering experiments by unknown agency. Well, I mean, that'd explain all the, like, the weird shit we found about behavioral engineering. I don't... Oh, wait, no, I do have a key. From that stupid rat that scared the fucking shit out of me. That, that rat, man, that rat was terrifying. That's probably the spookiest thing that's happened in this game so far. Oh, hey, I didn't realize there's a way back in here. Anyway, let's, uh... Let's see what we can get now. Ugh, bullets. My favorite kind of bullets. Handgun bullets. Bullets that I don't feel too bad for missing with. Unlike the shotgun, for example, where I just feel really sad if I waste it. Or like the crossbow. Missing with the crossbow makes me feel a deep sadness in the center of my heart. Well, let's uh, see what we got right now. So this machine, this thing was painted on the walls in those fucked up horror dungeon zones. Um, and I guess... I guess they were somehow using it to mentally fuck with people's brains. I believe would be the technical term. Uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna increase my life gauge again. I still feel like I'm dying really hard, really fast, really easy. Uh, I kinda wanna increase my syringe recovery as a result of that, but I don't have enough brain juice. I do, I am using melee a lot. It does so little damage, but, like, I do use it a lot. So, maybe I, maybe I should upgrade that, even though I don't really use it. I mean, even though I don't think the upgrade is going to be that helpful, because I do use it. Uh, or I could increase my stock. I'll develop foresight so it doesn't seem so odd when I say something. You do that, Odd. You do that. I, I guess the delay on the stream must just be huge tonight for some reason. It's usually like 10 seconds or so, or like five, 5 to 10 seconds, which is quite manageable, but sometimes it's just massive, and I'm not sure why that happens. Uh, and then I don't know what the fuck people are talking about, but that's okay, you know. You're the only one here in the stream at all, so if I don't understand what you're saying, I mean, at least there's somebody saying something, right? Oh! My controller is tweaking a little bit here. I'm, I'm using a PS3 controller, emulating a 360 controller. Sometimes it tweaks out a little bit. Um... Uh, what, what else should I upgrade? Maybe, uh, you know what, let's upgrade our melee damage again. Feeling like it's probably a waste, but I'm gonna do it anyway because I'm I don't know I'm I'm some kind of moron. What else can we upgrade? 1,900 points is not that many, so I can upgrade my match or my grenade stock, or I can make my harpoon bolts. My harpoon bolts already seem to do instant kills, so I'm not gonna worry about that. Matches. Like, I'm not exactly running out. Grenades I hardly ever find. I guess I'll just save the other 1900 points. Alright, let's go save our game. And then return to the horror zone of kills. Seriously, daytime outside? This area is like really bright. Oh, hey, girl. How you doing, girl? You're looking fine tonight. What are you doing after the horror Kevin. dungeon? Get me out of this thing! Wait a minute. It's another trap. Look. Well, that's a lot of zombies. Ooh. Dude, are you okay? 
Oh, he's okay. Good. Joseph, are you alright? Yeah, I'm fine. I gotta get down there and help Joseph. Down here. I Hold think on. you're damn right, Joseph. I gotta help you to kill the Zambos. Get wrecked by my upgraded melee. It's not working very well. Here they come. So yeah, we had that big spooky section, and now um, now we're having it. Ah, don't throw shit at me, son. Ah, I keep accidentally changing my controller is glitching out really bad. I'm not hitting the keys to change weapons constantly like some kind of moron. Just so we're clear on this, my uh, my controller is glitching. Okay, fine. I'll use the shotgun. Oh no, Joseph's asking if I have first aid. He must need my help. Oh anyway, wait, he's not down. But I should just uh, make sure he doesn't get completely wrecked. Half his face is missing, but I can. I need help. Yeah, just chill there for a second, buddy. Oh no! Oh no! Oh, that killed me. Alright. Fatter enemies have more health. Just like uh, GTA San Andreas. In San Andreas, when you got really fat, you got more health. Which is just like in real life, you know? You get really fat, and then you're more healthy. It's completely accurate. Kidman! That's why I'm making great efforts in my life to try and go from it's being just like a little Look, bit God. on the heavy side to being morbidly obese. Uh, you know, because I care about my health. I want to have as much as I can. It's much and if I get that. fatter, I'll have more health. Joseph. Are you all right? Yeah, I'm fine. I think you better get down here. Hold on, I'm coming. Shit, let's hurry it up. Burn the corpse before he gets up. Oh, you thought you could survive, but then you were on fire. A lot, I would guess. Ah, fuck. Oh shit, I don't have ammo for that. The shotgun does seem to work a lot better, so that's nice. When I don't completely miss, that is. And I am pretty good at completely missing. Ah! Fuck me. No, wait, don't fuck me. Oh, dude, you got blood at, like, you got... Good work, teammate. Watch out! They've got dynamite. Yeah, and our lady friend is being slowly drowned in piss. If our lady friend drowns in piss, we're gonna have a bad day. Tough. Fuck. More hops equals more health. I have to agree with that. I definitely feel better the more beer I drink. Alright, where's that pipe go? Please hurry! Oh, come on, I want to save our lady friend. Find cover. They're shooting. Ah, they are shooting! Why are they shooting? Cool. 
This ain't no time to not kill everybody. Alright. Alright, I think I killed them all. Let's let our lady friend out. And then I'll dead yet. Let's pick up more ammo. I gotta set this corpse on fire! I was too slow. Where do they have dynamite? I noticed the piss cube has seems to have stopped getting more full. She's been swimming there for a while now. She doesn't seem to be getting any closer to dying. Is that, is that it? I think there's still something nearby. More of them on the move. Don't be a hero. Back off. I'm gonna take drugs! Remember kids, when zombies come for you, take drugs. It's the only way to be sure. Did that thin lady come, like when I burned that fat man, did a thin woman come out of her? Is that how that works? You just need somebody to knock you on your ass and then set you on fire, and then you'll get a sex change and become skinny. That sounds legit to me. Okay. Watch out! They've got dynamite. That's gonna be my new, my new. Uh, I'm gonna make like a YouTube channel dedicated to getting thin quick and make like so much ad revenue. And my secret plan is going. Oh, fuck! My secret plan is going to be being blown up with dynamite. Uh, wow! I died hard. Okay, I'm not back at the very beginning of this fight, so that's good. No, oh, I should hotkey my grenades. Because I just picked up a grenade. Why is it not sh Here we go. grenade a and I don't need my syringe just yet. Oh good, more ammo has appeared on the table here. Come on! Alright, let's try not to die again, since I'm not really a fan of playing the same section. Every day of my life. Oh, hey, a new type of bolt. I didn't see this before. Shock bolt that immobilizes enemies. Alright. You are dead. I'm gonna take this axe. I'm feeling like this axe is probably a more powerful weapon than I've ever realized. Oh, dynamite! Come at me, bro. Oh shit, that worked pretty good. Do you have any first aid? Yeah, don't worry about it, buddy. I'll help you. Where, where even are you? Let me set this guy on fire. Yeah, see, you're fine. If 
fuck. Yeah, well, that delay is big. What I had no arms was, well, a long time ago now. I don't know why is that's that, happening. Eh, whatever. Is that it? I'd worry about it more if there were more than one viewer watching for me to potentially interact with the when there's only one of you. You know, it's... Don't be a hero. Well, I mean, the maximum level of viewer participation I can have is still pretty low. You. All right, let's use our crossbow on Fatty. Oh shit! I didn't realize I had the explosive bolt selected. Wow, he didn't even die from that. That's fucked up. I guess being fat really does make your body tougher. I don't want to be sledgehammered. You better explode. All right, everything's fine. Just collect the brain juice. Let's just not get dynamited. Oh no. Oh no! No! Oh, thank god I survived this time. <laughs> uh, I didn't want to explode again. Let's take a syringe. Kidman needs help. No shit, Kidman needs help. Damn it. That was close. You'd better come have a look at this. Alright. I can't get the thing open. I think there's another control panel around here. We're running out of time. Where do these cables go? I'll go. Tell me what to do. Hmm. Not much time. Gotta save lady friend. I think there's another control panel around here. I don't have time to try and beat a guy to death. That's ain't that ain't good. Get away! Ah, fuck me! No, wait, it should be okay. I should be safe here. I don't need to. I don't need to use my. Not so sure about that actually. I'm trying to decide whether or not I should use a syringe. I'm gonna say to not move. use the syringe. Look at the control panel. It's got the same kind of dials, right? Yeah. Yeah. A top one and a bottom one. Set the upper dial to 22 and the lower dial to 5. <laughs> 22 on top and. All right, I got it. Oh, thank God, I saved her. You're all right. Beer. My beer is now empty. This is a sad day. That is bad. Well, that's certainly uh, not ideal for them. Falling into the abyss and all. Now I'll use a syringe. Now that I've regenerated a bit. Uh, I should, it should actually be not a waste to use one more. Yeah, good. Didn't even quite 100% fill me up. Just, I really don't want to waste on, those syringes. Am I really coming? Like, am I seriously going to jump to, okay. That seems like a bad idea. Yeah. There go. Notice how there's all these corpses here? These are probably people who fell into the abyss and died because they fell into the giant hole. I wonder who piled up those skulls. Anyway, that's going to be the end of this video for those of you watching on YouTube. For the one of you watching on the live stream, of course. The stream will continue for a while longer yet. <clears throat> but I'm going to take a short break to deal with my needs.
Okay. Where is my headset gone to? Ghosts. 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 Uh, let me just check something out here. Rename some, uh, I need to rename a couple things. Namely the last couple bits I've recorded. So, that was part eight. Evil Within eight. And this is part nine. Nine. And that means the next part is part ten. Which will help me when I come to do my intro, because I'll actually know what part we're on for some for once in my life. Hello folks out there in YouTube land. This is Trouble TCAT as per usual, recording for the Zombie Arcade, continuing with part ten of my playthrough of the evil within. The most evil of um games I've played in the past couple months, I guess. I kind of thought it was just going to move me through the whole crack there, so I had time to take a sip of beer, but I was wrong. No, I don't want to change weapons right now, game! Fuck! I gotta get past him. This game really... Ah, uh, you know what? I really hope those guys don't follow me down into this. I can't run here. Oh, brain juice, though. I do like brain juice. Not really a fan of being completely submerged in blood. Well, I wasn't completely submerged, but up to my waist is still pretty bad. I want to check that side door, but I feel like I shouldn't waste too much time. However, it's a survival horror game, so I'm going to check the side door. Well, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, D Knight Odin. The Twitch didn't tell me about. Twitch didn't tell you about my stream yesterday. However, hopefully there will be many to follow. I don't know what I'm gonna do once. I, I'm I'm definitely gonna finish this game on Twitch. I don't know how many streams that's gonna take. I don't know how long the game is. I don't know what I'm gonna play after this. Um. I think I'm I think I'm just gonna do single player games from now on on the live stream because of how ghetto my internet is. I, I lag every fucking time multiplayer things in stream. I just lag horribly. It's really annoying. But single player games are fine. It also means I can make the stream slightly less ghetto. I just need to like find things to play. I've got a big back catalog of like, rich, like older games and stuff like that. I don't even know. For now, though, I'm more so worried about all these guys full of glass. Giant, giant assholes with huge sledgehammers. Man, the gore in this game is great. Like, I love the way people's heads rip apart, you know? I know that makes me sound like kind of a serial killer, but seriously, it's just... It's really nice the way people's heads fucking explode. Are you guys alright? Where's the lady? Few bumps, we're fine. Where are, Where is the girl, lady? I see dude... Bro oh, there she is. Hey girl, what are you doing after the zombie attacks? I see your shirt's a little bit moist there. Like when we were in the rain before. If you hadn't come along. What are you doing after the zombie attacks? Do you want to, like, go to the bar? Hey, hey girl, those jeans fit you really good. 
Um. Uh, okay. Guys, I don't think she wants to go to the bar after we are done with this zombies. It looks like the door's locked from the other side. Sebastian, maybe we can lift this enough for Kidman to go under and open it from the other side. We're counting on you. All right. Okay. As I was going to the bathroom and getting my beer in between parts, I was reflecting on how I used to tell all these like anecdotes about my life sometimes during the Let's Plays, like in Metro. I remember in Metro 2033 during the library section, I was just talking about how like we had this really mad librarian when I was in high school. And I was kind of realizing I don't really do that anymore, like the whole sort of personal anecdote thing. And then I realized that, like, that's actually a function, because, you know, I was kind of thinking, like, I should think of some, you know, fun anecdotes or, like, fun stories to tell people uh, in the video. Right. And odd. then, like, I realized I couldn't Why think of anything. You instead of just killing you? Maybe he didn't see me as I'm a not going to talk through this dialogue. Hey. Uh, uh, Proving, obviously. Uh, Duh. Uh, oh, shit! Garbage disposal monsters back for more. Huh. This isn't usually what I store underneath all the blood. Another one of those doors. So yeah, uh, I was just realizing like my life these days is profoundly boring. I've got like a friend. And, like I go to uni. Sometimes I go to the bar when I'm at uni. Oh, hey, girl, what are you doing after the zombies? Oh, you're a mannequin. Oh, I just saw a girl not wearing any pants. I got a little excited. Wedding invitation. Detective Sebastian Castellanos. And so I married... Because I'm Sebastian. So I married that lady who was initially my partner. This all feeds into the whole thing. I'm really feeling like... Like, this thing is taking so many cues from Silent Hill. It's ridiculous. Like, the whole thing... I, I don't know, it feels like it's all, like, one big section in, in, like, the Hyper Evil Zone version of Silent Hill. I can't remember what the fuck it's actually called, because I didn't pay enough attention when I was playing Silent Hill, apparently. Um, but all, all the weirdness and all the, like, it's, it's all gonna have something to do with my character's past, you know? Have you forgotten something? Obviously, the game has a more direct connection to Resident Evil, but Resident Evil didn't have that kind of... Um, in Resident Evil, the horror wasn't based on, you know, the personal stories of the characters or anything like that. The horror was just, like, we're in a mansion and there are zombies. Um, uh, okay, do I have a key? So as I was saying, yeah, I, like, I go to uni and, like, I go to the bar at uni sometimes, and I have, like, a friend who I pretty much never see in real life. And so, like, I, my supply for anecdotes is really, like, low because, you know, I'm a 24-year-old man and this is all I have, just these videos, and I haven't even been making videos lately. But, like, there's, there's just nothing to... I mean, I could talk about how the profound horror and pain and suffering my character is experiencing in the game reminds me of my experience going to university. But I, I think that's a little bit too, you know, obvious. I mean, anyone who's attended a university or a college, as they call it in the U.S., uh, knows that it's an endless cavalcade of nonstop pain, regret, and suffering. So there's not much point sort of driving that home. And, uh, you know, aside from that, I just don't... There's, there's just nothing. But I think that's okay. Because, like, I'm not mad about it. And I think the most important thing in life is that whatever you do, even if what you do is not that much and is maybe kind of boring, as long as you're not mad, you know, it's probably okay. So that's my advice to the, the kids of tomorrow, is just don't be mad. What the fuck should I upgrade? <laughs> That was a clever segue. Um, the shotgun, I'm just really happy with the way the shotgun works. I've got no complaints. Same with the crossbow. For the, well, uh, the crossbow, actually reducing the charge time on the crossbow would be 
probably a good thing to do. Uh, none of this stuff's been an, been a problem for me. None of my none of the performance of anything. I'm gonna upgrade my crossbow's charge time. Get a little bit faster to charge by zapping my mind. Uh, oh, the range! I can upgrade the range. Yeah, yeah. Let's do that. The range is garbage. Anything else I can upgrade, so I can improve the reload speed of my revolver, equip capacity, like, all this stuff is things that I, are things that I'm fine with. Although, increasing the equip capacity of the revolver has the secondary effect of actually increasing the maximum amount of ammo I can carry, because the stock and the, yeah, the, the way the whole thing works. Shotgun reload time reduction, that's actually quite a substantial reduction from 316 to 2.3, 3. 3.16 to 2.3 seconds is a pretty substantial reduction in reload time, and that's probably my only, that's probably the biggest issue I have. Yeah, let's, let's do that with the remaining. Alright. Save up and return to the horror. Hopefully we can find uh, Joseph and what's her name? Um, lady, lady girl. Uh, oh, that's not Myra, is it? Cause like, I, I don't think that's my waifu. Cause I think, I think that's a different lady cop. Although maybe he was calling her Hannigan, which was the last name of the girl said was gonna get married to. I honestly just, I, I am paying enough attention, apparently. Cause I got no idea what the fuck is. I still can't remember how I got back to this freaky ass asylum from the place in the woods. I'm liking this game though. Pacing's good. The the 30 frames issue because I'm playing with the controller. It bothers me less. Is another thing like when I'm playing with a mouse and a game has a locked frame rate, I can like feel the lag. But with controller, it's much less noticeable, so I think that's part of why the 30 frames thing is not bothering me. I must admit, the letterboxing is annoying me a little bit. But it could be more annoying. So all that stuff's not hurting my enjoyment as brutally as I expected it to. So that's, I mean, that's nice. I'd still, you know, prefer a smoother frame rate and not such big black bars. But, ah, thanks, Night Odin. I'm, I'm glad it's good to have me back. I, yeah, I don't know. I've, I've been thinking a lot about getting back into doing this just because I've got so little else going on. I mean, uni takes a fair bit of my time because I'm uh, pretty far in at this point. It's getting pretty hard. But, yeah, you know, I got so much fucking free time on my hands these days that. Now, oh, anyway. I don't know what I should do here. Like, I kind of want to see what's down that ladder. And I kind of want to see what's over this way, and I'm not sure which way is the way I'm supposed to go. Anyway, as I was saying, game's alright. Game's, yeah, like, I, the pacing's been good. Um, you know, it, it's had a good combination of sort of sections that are more slow and scary and sections that are more action-oriented. Seriously, that didn't even fully blow up his head? No, I want to immolate the corpse. Shit, I was trying to immolate a corpse. Can you not stab me when I'm trying to blow corpses up? Ah, oh, fuck. This might be the end for me, folks. Okay, okay. Take the corpse and set it up. Do I not have any matches? I'm out of matches. Oh, fuck. That's not good. Oh no, oh no! I blew myself up. I blew myself up. <sighs> but this time, things will be different. So what's my match count? I have one match. That's not ideal. That's really not ideal. Let's make a couple more of these um, harpoon bolts. I feel like I should be using the crossbow a lot more than I am. Because, I mean, I can just craft ammo for it from the trap parts. 
Uh, you know, I can have a lot more bolts for this thing. And it kills dudes pretty hard. Oh, hey, should I... I don't have a syringe to use. Okay. But, uh, the first review I read of this game was like a 10 out of 10. This is like the masterpiece. This is the greatest survival horror game ever made, etc., etc. That was the uh, review on Oz Gamers, which you, dear viewer, probably don't read because it's, you know, an Australian. specifically an Australian gaming review site. So, I mean, you know, unless you're also Australian, you're probably not even aware of it. And it's not that good of a site anyway, but, I mean, their review was just like, this is a masterpiece, you know, this is the greatest survival horror game ever crafted, this is just like, I played it and my dick, like, my dick became diamonds, and was that good. And, I mean, so far, like, I, I do like the game quite a bit, but, uh, yeah, I don't know about that. Although, compared to the dry spell we've had in recent years of survival horror, where there hasn't been a real, like, a real sort of truly like an actual survival horror game, let alone a good one, since the first Dead Space, in my opinion. Everything else has been not really survival horror. Um, uh, I'm not quite sure what to do here. I'm just gonna wait. What if I wait and then Spike shoot up my butthole? I'm just gonna run. Fuck. Yeah, I mean, there have been other horror games, but nothing that's really had, you know, the resource management aspects and the, the combat and stuff like that that I'd really associate with survival horror. Since Dead Space 1, Dead Space 2 felt like much more of an action game, same with Dead Space 3. I liked both those games, but I don't view them as being really survival horror, more just action games. Um... And obviously you've got, you've had games like Amnesia come out, and a again, Amnesia is definitely a horror game, but it's lacking, you know, resource management or any kind of, uh, combat, and I think it's, it's just missing too many things that are part of the survival horror formula to really be counted as survival horror. <clears throat> Freeze bolt. Shotgun shells, trap parts. Oh, let's reload our shotgun. But this is this is really a survival horror game. Let's craft some more bolts for our crossbow of different varieties. <clears throat> so explosive bolts. Oh, right, we could we could carry more. Uh, This is kind of a pain in the ass, what I have to do to actually craft. I I'm just going to craft as many bolts as I can for this thing. Because it seems like every variety that I have is going to be pretty useful. So I might as well just... Just craft until I'm out of trap parts, which I now am. Can I move this? Not allowed to move this stuff. So I have to go back and face the monster demons. That's okay. Alien Isolation, I'd also view as being a true survival horror game. Um, it has very minimal combat. It's mostly, you know, it's a lot like Amnesia. There's a lot of hiding and uh, some, you know, kind of. It's about exploration. There's not really puzzles. I mean, Amnesia had a couple puzzles. I haven't gotten up to any real puzzles in Alien Isolation yet, although I wouldn't be surprised if it had a couple. But Alien Isolation has this additional thing that Amnesia doesn't, where there's a, a big to-do about resource management. And it's not even the combat. I mean, Alien Isolation does have combat, 
But it's the resource management is more important to the formula than combat necessarily. Like you have these gadgets you can make in Alien Isolation to distract enemies or to temporarily, you know, give yourself a respite, and that in itself is enough without you know the straight up combat. Right, I don't have. Don't have matches, so I need to be blowing up heads. Why isn't my crossbow hotkeyed anymore? Oh, man, I wish I had matches, but I don't. I'm leaving as a result. Oh, let's kick these bullets, though. Okay, there we go. That's dealt with. I need to find more matches. Oh look, matches. Thank you, game. Well, I'm certainly glad I didn't run into that. Evil within, good. Very good. Hey, there's that red lighting again. I saw that in that weird room where we found Leslie, and then we were teleported back to the asylum. As far as I can remember, I don't remember exactly how I got back to the asylum from that uh, hospice out in the out in the boondocks, but I think it was shortly after that room when we found Leslie. Oh god damn, not this lady. That doesn't open. Run, 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 run. Oh. My head is just gone. I'm completely dead. Note to self, if that thing catches you, you die instantly. Do not be caught by that thing. All the way back here? Oh man. It, it was having checkpoints and stuff before, but I guess now it's getting brutal. However, I didn't see this last time. Missing parishioner found in mental hospital. These claims are absolutely outrageous. Parishioner Fernando Cabrera, missing for eight years, found committed in Beacon Mental Hospital. Claims parish was cult. Huh. I'm pretty mad that I'm way... fucked back here when previously the game definitely, you know, had a checkpoint kind of system. You'd think there'd be a checkpoint when the the uh, the thing that came out of the blood in the floor. When that thing appeared, you would have thought there would have been a checkpoint, right? But I guess not. Now I gotta pick up all this shit again, go back through the weird corridor, get the fucking... I'll come back and save... After I collect all these resources, I'll go back and save again. This time, given that I now know that there wasn't a checkpoint. Yeah, I guess the game did ultimately end up getting mixed reviews. Like I said, uh, the first review I read... The first review I read was really positive, but... In the end, they were not all so positive. Alright, so that guy's gonna pop up. Um, that did not happen last time. That did not happen last time. I like the game a lot. I don't think it deserves to be called, like, 10 out of 10 game of the year every year, all years, for all time, but it's... I think it's a really well-designed survival horror game in a lot of respects. Kind of mad about this particular checkpoint, but... 
Well, that's the first time it's happened that I've been mad about where the ch last checkpoint was, so... I mean, I'm, I'm, what, five hours in? So that's not... that's not bad. If you don't make me mad for the first five hours of your game, you're doing something right. I'm also kind of mad that trap killed me this time, when last time it didn't, and I'm not sure why. And I don't know what I did differently, exactly. But I got completely speared up the butthole this time. I think last time I ran through and... So last time I waited here for a while and then I kind of ran through and I hit the lever. Like, I hit the lever pretty early on and then I tried to kill the dude, so that must be it. I guess I, guess I gotta hit the lever. I picked those up, then I hit the lever. Then I fought this guy. Okay. I guess I just failed to understand something at some point. I have a new plan. I think this will work perfectly. Cause I found some uh I found a bunch of resources in that room. On the other side of that little hallway, so I wanna get those back. Preferably though, I don't wanna die by getting spikes up my butthole. You know, either in real life or again in the game for like the umpteenth time. That's just not something I need. Okay, so do, 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 do that triggers the trap. Oh, there's two pressure pads, two little things. I think I understand. I think I'm safe now. Right, I'm gonna pull this lever. Yeah, last time I killed myself. I think I understand now what happened. So, there's two little pressure pads and two sets of spikes. And the first time I did it, I hit both pressure pads and set off both spikes. And then I went, like I waited, and then, yeah. I can't fully articulate, but I know what happened now. I'm no longer mad. I'm not going to craft all those bolts this time. I think that might have been a bad idea. Okay. Go back through here. There was some brain goo I could have picked up there, but I'm not going back for it. I didn't pick it up when I had the chance, and it's too late now, because if I went back, I'd have to brave the spike zone again, and I don't really want to do that. Alright, so... Since I only have one match, let's just... Well, we'll try and hit them with the trap. And then I'm just gonna use an explosive bolt to kill these two guys. Once they've triggered the trap for me. Actually, if they're coming one at a time, that's kind of a waste. Come on! Hit the trap! What the fuck do you think you're doing? You're both still alive. Alright. I think that went okay. I'm gonna pick up these matches and then I'm gonna go save. Where did I get those matches? Right here. Yeah, I'm going to pick up these matches, I'm going to go back and save, and then I'm going to continue. Backtracking. Oh, I should end the, uh, I should end the part. 
I'll end the part right after I save. Or as I save. I never hold the button for quite long enough, and I'm always bad every time. Hey girl, I'm back. Oh hey, is this a different thing? Nope, still missing parishioner found in mental hospital. I like how she has a different comment when you come back to the same save point a second time. Like, there, it's the worrying type, I see, obviously. Are you not worried about the giant demons trying to kill me, lady? I'm worried. Alright, I'll be right back. Okay. Continue my dark journey. Oh wait, after I rename rename that video so that I know what part we're on. Rename Evil Within Ten. Hello folks out there on YouTube land, I'm your host Triple Cad. you're watching the Zombie Arcade live, except not live if you're watching it on YouTube, and this is part 11 of the Evil Within. The most evil, evil within. I have yet evil to evil in with. Yeah. Hopefully this time we won't get wrecked. Hopefully. <clears throat> so, after we summon the horrible demon zombie, well, there's all this stuff near where she appears, and I kind of want to pick the stuff up. I think I might have time to. But I'm not 100% sure on that. Ah, oh, shit, I should have picked all this stuff up before I save. Ah, that's okay. These items are directly on the way to, uh, to the death zone. So let's, let's evaluate. So I can set that thing on fire while I'm being chased, which I'm assuming will delay the evil lady. That, okay, so this, this way, what, the mistake I made last time is I tried to go this way, and this is not a way I can go. That's why I died. Now, might as well use the syringe considering my current health. Apparently, it is possible to defeat this thing in combat, according to one of the loading screen hints, but I guess it just takes a shitload of ammo, so I'm not going to do that. So, there's stuff over there to pick up. I'm gonna die for this crime I've done of trying to get all the items. I set myself on fire. That's okay, though. Fire seems to work. I should have turned around. Okay, she ran away. 
in the flames. Ah, oh, I couldn't. <laughs> then you go back and get the items if you're not some kind of moron who's like, oh, just pick up the items while all the demons appear. Hey, you! Stop! Fuck! Where'd it go? I can still hear it. I want that statue. It actually clips through the wall over there. Alright, let's go a bit further back. Yeah, there we go. Didn't waste as many bullets as I technically could have. I could go back and save again and use the key to open the... Yeah, you know what? I don't want to do that again. Yeah, of course it's unlocked now. We're just going to play it super safe, even if it means saving a gratuitous amount. The lady at the uh, hospital is going to make fun of us, but whatever. You know, sometimes you just can't avoid having people at hospitals make fun of you. I mean, sometimes your disease is really, really funny. You've been expected. One of my friends has a doctor who, um... His doctor has actually told him that he should drink and smoke. He's a pretty good doctor, I guess. Um... Because, you know, a uh, uh, slight... Well, you know, sort of... Mild to moderate alcohol consumption actually can boost your immune system, and I can't remember why he told him to smoke. Right, he was getting ulcers from, like, this kind of mouth thing, and then, like, because it cuts up the inside of your mouth, and the, the doctor apparently said, well, you know, if you smoke, it'll toughen up the inside of your mouth, right? And then, then you know, this probably won't happen anymore. The point is, is that apparently you should drink and smoke. Uh, you know, doctor's orders. So get get right on that, guys. <laughs> 